Welcome back, everyone here to Brax Talks. Today, got a very special video for you guys. We are going to be going over the Yankees pitching staff preview. We're going to talk about it, talk about the starting rotation, talk about the bullpen, and just talk about the Yankees pitching staff in general. So, Christian, what do you got? Let's start it off with the starting rotation. So, the Yankees have Garrett Cole, their ace, their number one. Look, I could not be more confident. There is not one other ace in baseball I would rather over Garrett Cole. You know what you're going to get. He's going to go out. He's not going to get injured. He's going to go throw his 30-something starts, and then he's going to show out in the postseason. I really wouldn't want anything more from an ace. Next up, we have Luis Severino as the number two. And keep in mind, this is the opening day, first few weeks projected rotation. You have guys like Luis Heal, Frankie Montas, Carlos Rodon on the IL to start. And that's why Luis Severino is the number two starter. And look, we haven't really seen a full healthy year or Seve since what? Like 2018, 2017? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And look, this is his contract year. Kind of show me something, Seve. Like, do you want to get paid? Because if he has a fully healthy season and he does what he does he's gonna get a big contract i hope it's from Absolutely. the yankees but um yeah i i'm almost like I, I i hope that almost incentivizes him to stay on the field and i hope the yankees also don't like baby him because last year there was like rumors that he didn't have to go on the 60-day il and they were just kind of yeah cautious. but i mean the yankees did also want him for the playoffs and what i think cashman is, is uh very like skeptical with Severino because the injuries have been a huge concern and it's, it's not an issue. Like when he's on the mound, he's a really, really good pitcher. He's an all-star caliber pitcher. No question about that. It's just, can he stay healthy? Um, so I'm really hoping he can do that this year. Um, and he's a great pitcher when he's, uh, when he's healthy, he's a ace like pitcher when he's on the mound. Um, the question has always been, can he stay healthy? And I really hope he can this year. Yeah. Um, just stay on the field and and throw how you throw. Uh, the number three starter is projected to be Domingo Herman. Um, out of this whole rotation, probably the guy I'm least excited about. I think you're maybe a little more high on him, Ryan. I like Domingo Herman. I think Domingo Herman is good stuff. Um, I think he for a lot of teams he'd be there four or five. Um, I definitely think he's a starting pitcher in this league. Um. And listen, this guy won 18 games a few years ago. Um, Domingo Herman, you know what you're going to get. He's been in the league for a while now. I think I said this before. He's going he's to have games, you know, where he's going to look really, really solid out there. Maybe give you six, seven, possibly eight innings when he's completely on. But then he's also going to have games where he doesn't have his best stuff. He's not looking that good. But he's a four or five starter. I think he's a solid pitcher. And I think he, he's going to be serviceable for the Yankees and give the Yankees just what they need from him. Yeah, yeah. And then either him or, or Clark probably gets the boot out of the rotation once Rodon comes back. And uh, so Clark Schmidt, as our number four starter, look, this guy I'm excited for because he's finally going to get like a real shot, probably like a, a month worth of starts. And I think that's all Clark really needs. I, I really think he's, um, Herman's get once Rodon comes back, Herman's gonna be the one to go because he has good stuff, Clark. And I really, I've heard nothing but good things. You know, the reports about his cutter being on on a Corbin Burns type level, and you know, even when this guy was in the minors, he was always looked upon like really well. So I, I'm really excited to see Clark get a legitimate shot to be a starting pitcher. No more playing with him in, in the bullpen, a long reliever. He has a shot, and if he does well, he's going to win it. So I'm, I'm really excited for that. And then the, the number five starter is Nestor Cortez. If you're wondering why he's five and not two, it's just how it lines up with his spring training starts. He had a minor setback, I think, with his hamstring. But yep. he is uh, slotted in to be the number five starter. And look, going into last year, I think everyone was like, all right, Show me it again, Nestor. You know, he was obviously phenomenal in, in 2021. But some people were wondering, is that a fluke? Zero question now going into 2023.
Yeah, I mean, he was an all-star last year. It was absolutely awesome to see. Um, he has a really good relationship with both catchers, Jose Trevino and Kyle Higashioka. And he's fearless on the mound. I mean, he he's going to... He's going to give you everything he has and then some. Um, he's absolutely fearless. He's not afraid of anyone. And his stuff, his stuff's good. His stuff's really good. And he's going to go out there. He's going to challenge guys. And he's just an awesome, awesome guy to watch pitch on the mound. And I think he's going to be great again for the Yankees in 2023. 100%. And, uh, and let's move to the bullpen. Now, this is Fangraph's projected opening day bullpen for the Yankees. Clay Holmes, Jonathan Loisica, Mike King, Wandy Peralta, the only lefty in the bullpen, Ron Marinaccio, Greg Weiser, Jimmy Cordero, and Albert Abreu. How do you feel about that? I think the Yankees bullpen is definitely pretty solid. I mean, there's a lot of really good arms. I don't think any other bullpen um, in the league has the kind of arms that the Yankees have in the bullpen. They just have so many talented pitchers there, so so many crafty pitchers that can do so many different things. And I'm really excited about this bullpen. Only thing that concerns me a little bit is we do have one lefty in the bullpen, Juan de Peralta. Um, we got Matt Crook could also make the Yankees roster, possibly. He would also be another lefty. Um, but listen, I mean, a team like the Astros had no lefties in their bullpen last year. So, and I think the Yankees have a lot of talented arms, so I think it will kind of supplement that. But I'm really excited about this bullpen. Me too. And I try, I, you know, it's hard to ignore the lefty thing, but I try to ignore it because, you know, there is matchups. There's guys who have reverse splits, you know, righties who are, who are better against lefties. So I try to kind of almost like blur out just the fact that we only have Wandy as a left day. And also, even with the, the three batter minimum, it's not the biggest deal anymore. As for the injured guys uh, to start the season in the bullpen, Scott F. Ross, who I believe will be out the whole year, right, with Tommy John? Maybe Possibly come returns. back at the end of the year. Maybe. I, I don't see the – they're not going to try and rush anything because they have him for – control of him for a while. So, you know, unless yeah. he's really, you know, ahead of schedule, then I, I don't I don't know if I see him pitching this year. Then uh, Tommy Canely, who should be back relatively soon, and uh, Lou Trevino. So, yeah. you know, once yeah. we get that whole bullpen healthy, we should be good. Biggest thing I'm looking at, Mike King. I know uh, his injury last year was kind of just like a freak accident. Just please stay healthy because he was almost like the glue of the bullpen uh, last yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, no, this guy's one of the best relievers in baseball. Um, And the big thing for the Yankees is – you know, he'd go out there and give the Yankees three, three innings, two innings. I mean, um, he was just absolutely dominant. If the Yankees were short on relievers, all right, six innings, starters done. Mike King would come in there for three. Mike King was absolutely brilliant. I'm really excited to see him. Yeah. Um, I mean, overall, the the pitching staff, it's really solid. Obviously, some guys sidelined to begin the year, but you know, once this gets healthy – it's one of the best in baseball. 